Hello, it's Glamstract here. Another day, another foundation review. And in today's video, we're going to, well, I'm going to, I'm going to review the Phyto Tint Eclat. What's the name of this foundation? I can't memorize it. Phyto Tint Ultra Eclat by Cicely Paris. What a start of the video. I mean, it's a quite hard <laughs> name to remember. I don't even know if you pronounce this phyto or phyto or pito, I don't know. And I'm gonna also throw in this review a product that I haven't used yet, which is the new Clinique Even Better All Over Concealer. This is what the foundation looks like outside of the box. I really like this foundation. I mean, it's pretty small to be honest. It is the standard size, like 30 ml, one fluid ounce. It just looks pretty small. This foundation is oil-free, long-lasting foundation, anti-pollution, and and yeah that's all it says really on the actual foundation the foundation shade that i've picked is number two soft beige and as usual it is pretty challenging to find your shade online but with a lot of practice and understanding of your, your undertones your uptones and your skin type you'll be able to find picking a foundation online is a bit easier if you understand about your skin all I've done to my skin at the moment is my usual skincare routine and also I've applied, as usual, the Vitamin Enriched Face Base by Bobbi Brown. I use this for every foundation review and I use it on a daily for my private application as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply the foundation now. As usual, I'm going to do one pump. And with this one pump, I want to see how much of my face I get done. And start in the center of my face. It does have a pretty unique smell, doesn't bother me, but just to let you know, it does have a slightest fragrance to it. Hmm, it's interesting, it's not floral, it's not really chemical. Yeah, I guess you have to smell it yourself to find out, because it's a unique smell. It does leave a nice glow to the skin, as you can see. Hmm. Oh, as you can see, it's like running down, so it's a quite liquidy formula. And... But as I said, it's giving me a really nice, really nice coverage so far. I would say definitely a light to medium coverage. As I'm applying it, it does seem like it's oxidizing very, very slightly. But I'm okay with that because it's not really disturbing or changing too much on my skin. So it feels, it actually feels all right. It's not making a huge difference. Pretty. And as you can see also on the back of my hand, it turned more into a sort of reddish color. Not really red, but like a beigey red color. But the reality of it is that it looks exactly like my skin tone. So the fact that it's oxidizing very slightly, it's actually doing me a favor because it looks even better. So this is the foundation applied. I'm pretty happy with this foundation, I like, can already tell it's, it's, it's been quite good on my skin. As I said, oxidization, yes, it does oxidize, but it looks still okay on the skin, it's not being too, it's not getting too dark, I actually looks, I look quite healthy. Um, it's giving a nice natural, very natural glow, I wouldn't say too glowy, but very natural glow to the skin. And I'm quite happy with that because I'm at the moment, I'm all about healthy, glowing, hydrating foundations. I do also need to mention that I said at the beginning is oil free, so it's pretty good for people that suffer with a combination to oily skin. So that will help in a way not to make your skin look too greasy. It does set itself, to be honest. So I don't think I'm going to be applying too much powder. And by setting itself, I'm not saying is mattifying because it doesn't feel mattifying at all and I've tried mattifying foundation and oh, awful. I'm sorry, I'm not a huge fan of mattifying foundation. Sometimes I like to use them, but not all the time. But um, yeah, it feels quite natural on the skin. It feels like I'm not wearing anything, it's weightless. And 
I like it. It's pretty good. I mean, now I'm going to apply the Clinique even better all over concealer. I've picked the shade CN10 Alabaster. The cute thing about this concealer is it does come with its own kind of sponge on the very top. It has a lid and it comes with its own sponge, which I am not going to use because I feel like it's gonna get all messy and it will bother me that I cannot wash the concealer off the sponge and I'm like, I wanted to keep it clean. I don't want to mess it up even though I'm dying to try because I, it looks so efficient, but I'm afraid I'm not going to. But I'm gonna carry on with my fingertips, even with the concealer. One, two. I'm gonna start by just doing these two dots and see how much coverage will give me. If I feel like I need a little bit more coverage, I'm gonna apply a few more dots. I blend with my ring finger, just so I don't apply too much pressure to the delicate under eye. I can already tell you it's a very light concealer. Like coverage wise, it's not full coverage, but definitely weightless, super weightless. It feels actually quite thin in consistency. It doesn't feel thick like a lot of concealer does. Like you need a lot of work to blend them out. So easy to blend as well, oh my God. I like it. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased. I really like the way it looks. I'm just gonna quickly zoom in into my face so we can have a close up and see how everything is looking so far without applying any powder on top yet. So this is it. I really like this foundation and I really like the concealer as well. Um, there's not much to say that I already said, so this is it. Off camera, I'm going very quickly to apply just a little touch-ups of powder, not too much, and I'll be back very soon and tell you how the foundation is feeling with the foundation, with the powder applied. I'm back. I've now applied setting powder, a very little bit of bronzer, a little bit of blush, and a nice highlighter. I have to tell you, this Sosu um, Glow Up Highlighter Palette it has gorgeous um, highlight shades. And lately I've been using for blush, as you can see, like a nice orangey kind of color. I've been using actually their highlighter, this orange highlighter called, called Peach Smoothie. I said orange, maybe more peachy, Peach Smoothie on top of my cheeks to give me a nice blushy effect. And I've been loving it so much. And then on top of that, I have applied a highlighter, Unicorn Dust, which is giving me like a gorgeous whew, highlighter feeling. Amazing. I feel pretty good about this foundation. There's not much else I can add to it because as I said, it feels weightless. It feels very natural. It's oxidizing by very slightly bit, but it's oxidizing in my favor because it looks just right like my skin tone. And um, what else can I say? It feels super light and it's giving me a nice coverage. It definitely covered some spots that I had hanging around. Of course, the more severe ones, they're still peeking through, but I'm not too bothered about that because I like that even though I'm wearing foundation, you can still pick through some blemishes because it looks natural. Of course, the, the Clinique concealer, loved it. Oh my God, it's so lightweight, easy to blend just awesome it's an awesome concealer i really advise you to try it seems really good this is the end of the video as usual please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like this video and also give it a thumbs up if you didn't like this video because uh, why not let's spread some love and while you're here why don't you just subscribe to my youtube channel which is just down here press the button <laughs> Follow me also on my social media, mainly on Instagram. You can find me everywhere at Glamstruct. And that's it. Thanks for watching again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.